here is my today's question. Can a normal user limit or control Android apps permission? And the answer is yes. So in this video, we'll see how we can do that. So what do we need for this? So we need to download a few apps from the Play Store. So get out to your Play Store and search for Permission Manager. You would get many apps, but here are my two suggestions. So one is Permission Manager App Ops, and the second is Permission Manager Appaholics. So these are the two apps that I like the most, but you may download and choose the best you like. So, so let's get started. So before we proceed with the change, I would advise here. So whatever you're doing, you have to be cautious and careful to not limit the functionality of the app. So try, don't try to control it too much and don't try to control its actual functionality. So be careful. So let's proceed. So I'm not going to use the apps I suggested, but I'm going to use the one that came built in with my OnePlus One phone. But it's almost exactly the same, so you would understand. I'll, I'll also tell you what's the difference here and there, and you should be able to uh, use those apps too without any problem. So I'm in my settings. Go to you, the privacy under settings. So when you go into privacy, you would see something called privacy guard. So get into that. When you see here, you can see enable by default is check. Yes, I would like to have my personal control, so I have checked it. And you would see all the apps that are installed on your device. So these are all my apps. You can see onto your on the right side, you can see a lock with a white shield, which means I'm controlling or limiting that permission. So here you can see there's no white shield or lock, open lock, which means I'm not limiting or controlling that app's permission. So best buy, which is I don't I'm I'm controlling, calculator, yes, I'm controlling. So so now let's get to the point and see how do we control. So let's use Chrome as an example here. So just press and hold your Chrome app and you would see all the permissions that this Chrome app require. So here it's trying to access your location, it's trying to read from your clipboard. Like if you do a copy, so this is where it's trying to read it from, and it's, it, it's trying to read your contacts, SMS database, these are all it's trying to do. But I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't require all of this. It, again, guys, it depends on your uses. For me, my Chrome doesn't need to know my location. So I don't want to allow it to read my location. So what did I do? Press on, press here and you will see deny. You will see the options here. You select deny. So that's how simple it is. And guys, don't try to limit your clipboard access. Like as I said, you are limiting the Chrome functionalities. If you prevent it to if you deny from Chrome from reading your clipboard you will not be able to do copy paste so don't limit that functionality so here it's trying it I have the read contacts but you can see it never used it so I didn't deny it I just want to see does it really never ever read my contacts so I said always ask and yeah this is how you do it and again keep awake so so for some functionalities your apps might run in the background so sometimes it might have to keep the your cpu awake so but i said yeah i don't need my chrome to keep my cpu awake let 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 it run only when i need it so i just said denied it so that's how simple you control an app permission so let's get to our famous app messenger so here is my messenger Yes, I know everyone is having a concern with it. It needs a lot of permissions. Wow. So how do we control or limit permission? So as Messenger reads your location, but you see it never used my location because 
if you can control from directly from the app, which I didn't, so it never end. But I also denied it from here. Again, it tries to sync your contacts. I said no, don't sync. So you can see it never use my contacts. Yeah, but I don't want to limit the camera or audio functionalities because I use it for charting or call, so I don't limit it. That's how you control for Facebook. So make a decision: what do you need and what you don't want to allow this app to use so and control uh, to your liking so now let's get to another app let's say skype so here again it needs location i said no ask me and it tried to read my contacts i said no because i want to keep my phone contacts separate from my skype contacts so i said no don't read my contacts or don't sync so i denied it and you can see it, i denied it uh, modifying my contacts but it tried 27 times and my system denied it all the times so before it tried to modify contacts and it, i system allowed it 16 times but then i came and said oh no and so after that it denied 11 times so again so that's how you control based on your need that's how simple it is to control uh, your app permission or limit the permission so I mean, here, uh, like I said, if you were trying to do the same thing from the, your downloaded apps, how do you do that? So if you go into advanced mode here, you would see this exact look and feel when you open those apps. It is same, you will see the location, personnel or device, etc. And under each, you would see the apps trying to read the location, uh, read, trying to read your personal data or trying to use messaging. So different kind of permission. So this is how it is categorized. So what apps start on your phone boot up. So that's how this is. So here again, it is very simple. Let's say here I have Google Play service. Hold it and it brings all the permissions it needs. So I don't understand why Play service need my location. So I said deny it. So it was allowed 323 times. I said, no, that's bad. Denied. And it even tried to read my contract. It read 2,344 times. I said, no, please deny it. So it's as simple as that. But again, guys, please be very cautious when you do that. You don't want to limit the app functionality. So if you have an app that's trying to start when you boot up your phone, slowing your phone booting, you can say deny okay no i don't need this app to start on my boot up time and i i already have the apps which are which i need to start in my boot up so i don't have much to but let me use this example so i go into my gmail and here i have auto start so yeah i want my gmail to start on my boot up and sync because this is app something i use frequently and if you don't want it to start, just select and click on deny. So it will not start. So you can give it a try. And yeah, you don't just give it a try and see what works. But again, be cautious. That's what I would advise. So that's how simple it is. So I hope you would enjoy trying this. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and please remember to subscribe and leave your comments. If you have any questions on this or you're looking for any solving trouble, so leave your, leave your question in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again.